In this video, let us solve problems based on ellipse. Alright, here we've got the question which reads like this. It says, uh, find the coordinates of the foci, the vertices, the length of the major axis, the minor axis, the eccentricity, and lattice rectum of the ellipse of the equation x squared by 25 plus y squared by 9 equals 1. Alright, so the equation is pretty clear, which is x squared divided by 25 plus y squared divided by 9 equals 1. So now how do you conclude whether this is of the form x squared by a squared plus y squared by b squared equals 1 or x squared by b squared plus y squared by a squared equals 1. That's pretty simple. In any ellipse always the major axis is represented by a and the minor axis is represented by b. So therefore you can see that 25 is greater than 9. So therefore it is of the form x squared by a squared because the major axis is this one x squared by a squared plus y squared by b squared equals 1. So if a squared is 25, a is 5. And if b squared equals 9, b equals 3. The square root of 9 is 3. The reason we are straight away taking the values of a and b in uh, positive is because a and b are lengths and lengths cannot be negative. So therefore a is 5 and b is 3. So we've got the two major data to find a lot of things. We, you know, we can find the length of the major axis from this. We can find the length of the minor axis. Uh, but yeah, we can't find the eccentricity yet because eccentricity involves the distance from the center of the ellipse to the focus. And uh, we can, of course, find the lattice rectum. We can also find the vertices. We cannot find the foci, I guess, with just this data. But let's see, how do we do that? But to find the foci, you know, we need C, right? So do you remember the relationship between A, B, and C? Well, it is A squared equal to B squared plus C squared, right? So using this relationship, we can find the value of C. So it'll be C squared equals A squared minus B squared, or C equals square root of A squared minus B squared. So therefore, C will be equal to square root of 25 minus 9, because A squared is 25 and B squared is 9, and C equals square root of 16, and square root of 16 is 4, so C equals 4. So we found A, B, and C, so we just have to use these data to find the foci, the vertices, the length of the major axis, the minor axis, the eccentricity, and lattice rectum of the ellipse. So let us start off with the coordinates of the foci. The coordinates of the foci for the ellipse of this equation consists of minus c comma 0 and c comma 0. So therefore, coordinates of foci are minus 4 comma 0 and 4 comma 0. For your reference, the standard form is minus c comma 0 and c comma 0. So that's how I got minus 4 comma 0 because c is 4. And that's how I got 4 comma 0 because again c is 4. So we are done with coordinates of the foci. Let's find the vertices now. The vertices are, it will involve uh, minus a comma 0 and a comma z 0. So it will be minus 5 comma 0 and 5 comma 0. So therefore for your reference it is minus a comma 0 and a comma 0. Alright, so we are done with the coordinates of the foci. We are done with the vertices. Now let's find the length of the major axis. The length of the major axis is given by 2a. So 2 times 5 which is equal to 10. And the length of the minor axis is given by 2b which, which will be equal to 2 times 3 which is equal to 6. So the length of the major axis is done and the length of the minor axis is done. So we have to find the eccentricity now which is given by e equal to c by a which will be equal to 4 by 5, so the eccentricity is done. Now we need to find the length of the lattice rectum. So the lattice rectum is given by 2b squared by a, so which will be 2 times 3 times 3 divided by 5, which is equal to 18 divided by 5. So the length of the lattice rectum equals 18 by 5. So we found the last of the question which is the lattice rectum of the ellipse. So these are the main things that make an ellipse and it's very important to learn how to find all these things by just using the equation of an ellipse. And another important thing is to identify if it is of the form x squared by a squared plus y squared by b squared equals 1 or x squared by b squared plus y squared by a squared equals 1. Alright, so that ends this problem as well as this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on ellipse.